stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. This is our communion devotion. The night before Jesus was arrested and taken to the cross and crucified, he had the Jewish Passover meal with his followers. At that meal, he said, I'm going to give new meaning to the elements of bread and wine. Up until now, these elements represented the redemption of the nation of Israel. When Moses led the Jewish people out of Egypt, across the Red Sea, and to the promised land, that was the redemption or deliverance of the Jewish nation, which was remembered every Sabbath day and during the Passover. Now Jesus says, I'm going to take this symbol of national salvation and make it personal for everyone who believes in me. In my new covenant, the bread is going to represent my body given to the world as a sacrifice for sin. And the wine is going to represent my blood given for the forgiveness of sins. Just as the Passover meal was a symbol of national salvation, what we now call the Lord's Supper is a symbol of our personal salvation. We call this communion, and we share it every week as believers. I'm going to lead us in a prayer for the bread and the juice. Our Father in heaven, we come before you, and we thank you so very much for the bread, for the fruit of the vine, for the juice, and for the salvation and deliverance that it represents to us. And just as you delivered your people from Old Testament bondage, you have delivered us from the bondage of sin. And Father, we are mindful of the sacrifice that you have made, and we're so grateful that we now have forgiveness and the hope of heaven. In Jesus' name, amen.